I'm up on this uh, Penneth Ocean, and this 411, and uh, it's a bit of a project at the moment, but it'll uh, be a good boat to use uh, sometime in the future. And um, I want to, today I want to show what you can do to, uh, or what you may be able to do, or the causes of a boat like this sinking if the rudder fails, and uh, water comes in from the um, rudder aperture and uh, just floods the boat like recently on the Oceanis 393 which was uh, sunk by orca attack off Portugal on the 4 and one I'm going to go down the lazarette now and show you what uh, happens when water comes in when the rudder fails and that's the quadrant there that's come off the rudder and uh, Down here is where all the uh, water comes in, and you can see the hole there where the rudder has been taken out, and where water would come in at a terrific rate if there was a big uh, catastrophe there, like a orca took your rudder away or smashed on the rocks or whatever. see the how much lower down below the waterline the rudder aperture is. Here's the tube of the for the rudder uh, which has actually been taken off now because the whole thing was fractured away there. Uh, the rudder's dropped um, and all the quadrant everything was taken off so um, move this away and you can see the You can see the slot from the lazarette side here. Um, where the hoses go through here, and the cables over there, and that's on the starboard, on the port side over there. And there's also these um, kind of U-shaped semicircular channels here where this hose is going through as well. Looking a bit further up you see the access hatch from the port aft cabin there. Um, that is um, sort of reasonably well sealed but um, it wouldn't be waterproof in any, in any way. Uh, you can see I'm in the port cabin now and uh, there's just a big access uh, slot here for cables on this side and uh, have a look on the other side, on the other cabin just now and you can see that it's uh, no pump would ever cope with any water coming in through this area here right, the slot continues into the starboard cabin here you've got uh, exhaust, pipe, uh, ducting, fuel, fill, fuel inlet and uh, that's a vent I think there um, so that's quite a long slot there that needs to be uh, plugged somehow or other to reduce the flow of water from the lazarette so that a pump could cope. I'm in the anchor locker now just about squeezed in and you can see the uh, effort that's been made here to uh, make the forward bulkhead, um, the anchor locker bulkhead watertight here. There's a uh, actually a gland on the um, electric cable coming in for the for the uh, navigation light and this uh, hose here which holds the uh, cables for the electric anchor windlass everything's all uh, it's watertight and that's quite a difference to the aft cabin um, you just want to make sure you you get a collision on the uh, bow not on the stern we'll have a look at the uh you know, some fast 37 now and see what kind of difference that is there. Well, this is the same, it's got a large slot, and the uh, the filler pipe goes through there and cables and so on. Um, any kind of 
failure here, any water ingress here from damage to the stern or whatever, it's going to just rush through there. There needs to be some kind of a, a barrier, some kind of a, just a simple thing front and back really to, from this bulkhead here to, to try to seal off most of it to make a reasonable seal that a pump could cope anyway. But the uh, this one has got a, an improvement as far as I'm concerned where the, the rudder tube is uh, fixed to the hull. It's got these, um, I don't know what you'd call them, they're sort of braces, um, possibly foam or, or ply and they've been glassed over onto the hull and it stretches back about a foot or like about uh, 300 millimeters or something up the hull that way and the same on that side over there and forward there too it's also got one there it's, it's shorter it's smaller than the other ones um, so it's not the tube that fails the tube doesn't fail really the, the tube on the penito is quite thin uh, it's the fixing to the hull top and bottom and, and I think this here now is this shelf here uh, on the top of the shaft here was well, it's not the top of the shaft I mean this is the quadrant here this goes to the bulkhead here too um, and this is a massive kind of bracing so I think this is uh, you know notwithstanding the, the slot there which would be a, a big water ingress to, to the hull to sink the boat it, this bracing that it's got here this reinforcement is a vast improvement to what the uh, the Oceanis has but um, when I rebuild the Oceanis tube there uh, I will make this sort of thing it'll be a, a mod and an improvement as far as I'm concerned um, that's it that's the next stage with that one but you can see this is really strong here uh, the tube wouldn't wouldn't detach itself from the hull with this kind of with this you know the rudder would break but the tube wouldn't fracture off the hull so there'd be less chance of water coming into this boat than, than the Benito